Hey everybody, I'm Dave. And I am Steven. We, we have uh, not seen you for a little while, and we have some really special things in store for you with this drink. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be a good drink for uh, family get-togethers around Thanksgiving, I think. It is. It's a great uh, fall recipe. It involves some uh, some maple syrup this, uh, this time of year, the... Uh, uh, we're thinking about um, the leaves falling and, and all kinds of great uh, things that remind us of autumn. That's uh, my favorite season. What we Love should it. do first, though, is remind people who we are. Yes, we are the Rhythm Section's Guide to Mixology. And what do we do? It's, well, we uh, make drinks, uh, really, really good drinks. We are average, uh, below average guys making above average drinks for our trophy wise. We, we experiment, we have a little fun, we mix up these drinks, and we, uh, we, 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 we feed them to our trophy wives and, and we get some feedback on what they think. Yeah, it's a whole lot of fun and we hope you guys enjoy the, the ride with us. They're not always a huge success, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this, but one this, one's, will this one's going to be awesome. This one's going to be solid. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is called the Maple Bourbon Smash. And I, I just like that. I like the word uh, smash. I don't know why. It's probably some violent streak I have in me and from childhood. I don't know. I, I, okay. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a response I think, to that. I, I think I was uh, picked on a little bit when I was a kid. I was kind of scrawny. And, uh, I was scrawny too. Were you? Yeah, yeah I was. Well, see, that, that's probably why we uh, ended up uh, connecting. We have kind some of, sort of a... That's how I ended up portly. <laughs> Portly is not a word used every day anymore. It's a good word. We're going to invent a drink uh, that has the word portly in it, ladies and gentlemen. But for, watch that in the future. But for, but for tonight, we're going to make the maple bourbon smash. And we're going to start with one part of pure maple syrup. And Stephen, uh, I want you to take note that this is uh, amber in color. And uh, it's also um, grade A, I believe. Well, oh, grade A. Only the best. Well, it's uh, the trophy wise. I, I I don't know if you've noticed it, but maple syrup appears to be a bit overpriced. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so how much am I doing? Oh, you're doing one part. One part. Okay, each, I'm gonna use one part in each glass. I'm gonna use a three quarter outside of this okay. jigger. The jigger. That's the uh, uh, the small side. By no uh, by now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having a little trouble with my mouth tonight. Uh, by now, you know that this is a jigger. There's a large side and a small side. And Stephen elected to use the small side of the jigger tonight. Indeed. Uh, and and, and, are... and in, in staying with the theme of the parts rather than talking ounces, uh, we're going to go with one part of fresh orange right. juice as well. So uh, th this is going to be, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we do not have stuntmen for this. Uh, this is live uh, recorded. And uh, so we're going to actually make fresh orange juice using our juicer. Is that called a juicer, Stephen? Uh, that's what I've always called it as All a right. juicer. You're doing that very nicely. Well, uh, you know, we, we keep a lot of lemon juice and lime juice fresh squeezed well, on hand at the house. Yeah, I think you should. Uh, I don't know how much... Uh, uh, we're going to go halfway. We're, we're going one part each, so that's probably pretty good. We don't want to overpower it with orange. Uh, this looks tasty already, Stephen. Oh, it does. It smells delicious. Great. We're gonna do a uh, uh, now. We're gonna do a half part of fresh lemon juice. Oh, lemon juice! Lemon juice. I, I should have gotten you a lemon, Stephen. There you go. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna use the same juicer because we'll we don't care about that. Same method. Uh, well, it's gonna be mixed together anyway, so really, it, how much uh, are we doing a half a part? We're doing a half a part for this one, so I, you'll just have to estimate as best you can. Being a mathematician by trade, you probably can figure that out pretty easy. Well, not a mathematician. But, oh, you know, by hobby or trade, either one. I do like math. Oh. Well, it's, uh, perhaps we should talk sometime about that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after the lemon juice is added, we're going to uh, we're gonna add, uh, how do you say this word, Stephen? Angostura. Angostura bitters. We're going to add four dashes. It's a very precise recipe, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention. Uh, no, it's, it's not. But it, the recommendation is four dashes of four Angostura. Dashes of Angostura bitters. I don't know what Angostura is. I thought uh, that was steak. Well, you'll be able to uh, smell it when, uh, when we're doing this. I brought some oh. other bitters, uh, a selection of oh. other bitters from the house. Um, I noticed those. Bitters are like spices for your drink. I, I, really, experiment with different flavors. Don't get limited to just the Angostura. Uh, perhaps in a drink like this, you'd want um, more orange bitters oh, or maybe, lime bitters maybe. or something like that. But we said four dashes, right? Four dashes one, two, of three, the three, uh, Angus steak bitters. One, two, three, four. All right. Angus. Well, that's got nice color. That's very nice. Uh, and I like the way you describe those as spices for drinks because I really honestly did not know what bitters were. Yeah, well, that's the way I view it is, you know, you put spices in your food to give it flair and color and, yeah. and flavor. So experiment with, with uh, bitters. 
The worst thing you do is you ruin your drink and make a new one. Make a new one. You know, yeah. it's uh, it's it's you know, it's relatively. So uh, yeah, don't be afraid to uh, experiment. Yeah. What's next? Uh, we're gonna add a, a half of an orange wheel. So it looks like you could probably use the other half of the That's orange to slice here. And since we need a half, then uh, we'll have just have to make one cut. Well, two cuts actually, if you're adding together. I told you I was no good at math, Stephen. Uh, so a half an orange wheel, uh, and now comes the big uh, ingredient, Stephen. Uh, we're going to add four parts of bourbon. Four parts, four parts of bourbon. And I think in this case, uh, we are just going to go, you know, straight up traditional, uh, good old Kentucky Jim Beam bourbon. That's that's uh, good. Sounds good to me. We don't have any endorsement deals, Stephen, but if we did, uh, we would probably be getting a lot of money right now from Jim Beam. Uh, that's not to say we wouldn't accept. True, we we would accept a uh, an endorsement deal, wouldn't we? Uh, if it came with money or free liquor, yes. Absolutely. I mean, we would even, uh, even though you can't see our feet, we would probably wear some specialized sneakers if you uh, if you gave us an endorsement deal. I wanted to say that, uh, you know, it has been so long since I've been out of the house, we've been <laughs> shut down. Right. It feels a little weird to have pants on. Stephen, we, I, I appear to have missed a, a step. Please. And I wonder if we can do this without making too much of a mess. We probably should muddle that uh, half orange slice uh, just a little bit in the glass. Do we have a Let's muddler? Let's do it. We do a muddler right here. All right, we have a it's muddler. It's not too late. It's never too late to muddle. So there is a muddler besides myself, because I do like to muddle occasionally. There we go. Knock that right out. Uh, now, we, after we muddle uh, lightly uh, in, in reverse order, uh, we should probably stir that up pretty well. I do have the bar stoon. And uh, so good... the, the, the bar stoon, the bar spoon, the bar stoon. I'm still not clear after all this time how that's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, but now we're going to fill the glass with, well, not fill it. We're going to add ice to the, to add some ice. Have some ice here. I wonder if I can do a, a neater job than. We, I, that, there's a pretty good chance you can do a neater job than I usually do because I make a mess with the ice. Uh, it does say fill the glass with ice. Uh, you know that I'm not the uh, uh, premier drink maker here, so I'm just following the instructions. It says fill the glass with ice, and then we're gonna we're gonna top it off. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna top this off with some chilled seltzer. Boy, this sounds delicious. It it's looks delicious. delicious. I don't even know if we need seltzer, but it probably adds a little bit to the. Probably yeah, probably adds a little bit of. Uh, oh, there's zinc. the seltzer. All right, this got some uh, chilled seltzer. We won't say what kind of we'll seltzer it is because we don't have an endorsement deal yet. We'll gently stir it in so, so we don't disturb it. That's and very it still nice. Has its effervescence. That. Oh, that's very that. nice. Stephen, mm -hmm. that looks delicious. I don't know what we could do to make that better. We have some we have some ornaments over here, some umbrellas, but really umbrellas are more of a uh, spring summertime. Yeah, you know, I, I think it looks good just as it is. I think, I think the best thing fun. that could make that look any better fits in the hands of our beautiful wives. I think you are right, Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a real pleasure for us to put this together for you. Stephen did a great job with that. It looks look, it even looks fall in it, color. It does. It does. It does. And thanks for thanks for being here with us for this. Really Stephen, appreciate it. Uh, I wish that people would just remember uh, not to drink with you. And don't drive like him. We'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night, folks.